Welcome to the Clayton Center. We have our December Meet the Artist reception. Um, this month we are featuring artwork by Lorianne Martin and Phyllis Harvey. And I'm here with Phyllis Harvey right now. Um, Phyllis, will you tell us, um, first of all, where you're from originally? Um, I was born in Grenada, West Indies. And um, I love the islands. I've been all over the Midwest and um, Georgia and Florida. And I love North Carolina. I've, this is where I, I really enjoy living with all the green and, and everything. So, it's fun. And um, Phyllis, how did you get your start in art? Um, I, I think I've always had art in, in me. I never realized how much until a year ago. And it just started to pour out of me. And it gives me so much joy. And, and I, I like to um, give other people joy by just painting and um, learning how to bring out the light and the movement. And I, I, I just hope everybody else enjoys what I see when I do the painting. So. Well, Phyllis, I think your, your joy certainly comes through in your artwork. Um, oh, thank you. I hope so. I really do. And it so. looks like you've traveled quite a bit. You have yes. some, um, uh, let's see, you have some Arizona in your artwork. Right. Uh, I Tell do. us about that trip. Uh, it was, I was astounded at the beauty of, of the canyon, and I, I couldn't believe the desert area would look so incredible. I just wanted to keep on going and going and going. I was wanting, searching for more and more beauty. It just kind of draws you in. And I think that's what I want when I paint. I want people to see that and go, ah, you know. Do you paint right there on location, or do you? I have done that I, with my, uh, the Van Gogh. I did that in my backyard. And um, that was fun. Just to, in, it was in uh, almost the sunset coming, but it, it was fun just to keep on going and, and see what happens with the canvas comes alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great that, that <laughs> yes. you love to experiment. And yes, it really yes, shines yes, through. Yes. Um, do some of your pieces come from your imagination? A lot of them do. Yes, and that's fun. It's fun to experiment and um, just to see where your mind will take you. And um, and what's inside of you will come out in the canvas. And I really hope people can feel that, you know, as they, as they look at it and everything, so. Yeah. Are you self-taught or uh, are there um, classes you've taken? I have a few teachers around Clayton, uh, Janie, and, um, and a few others. And they've, they've taught me some really valuable uh, things about, you know, just don't paint what you see, use your imagination. And um, and uh, Janie had had uh, saw something in me where I just had to please her and go further with it. So that was she was my inspiration to get me going further and further. So yeah. Do you have a favorite piece here you'd like to tell us a little story about? Um, my favorite is the one over there. It's called Yearning for Home. That's um, a family farm in West Virginia. I started it and I kept on liking it and liking it and I kept on putting a little bit more pieces and I think I said to myself I, I need to stop right here and, and I was really pleased with that. I also like my angels so yeah so I guess I like my, my paintings. <laughs> well, <that's good. laughs> well we're glad you exhibited here. I, um, thank you very much. Do you have a, a website or a, um, some kind of way to, so I, people could see more of your work? Or? I will I, I plan to do that. I don't yet but okay. I plan to do that. Yes. Thank you so much for letting me exhibit here. Oh, great. So it's my very first one and I'm, I'm excited about it. So thank you. Well we, I'm sure we'll be seeing more of your work. Thank you so, so much. Exciting. Amy. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you Phyllis. Yeah. Thank you. This is Lori Ann Martin, and she's a photographer exhibiting here during the month of December. Um, Lori Ann, will you tell us where you're from originally? I know you live in Clayton. I was born in Raleigh, um, actually at the um, Old Rex on St. Mary Street. Okay. And uh, lived in North Carolina, uh, in New Bern, Fayetteville. Uh, graduated from UNC Greensboro, 
as registered nurse, and I joined the Navy and left North Carolina for 20 years and have retired back here now. Okay, and how long has photography been a passion of yours? At least probably since junior high school. It started with a small little 110 camera <laughs> and <the> <laughs> little tiny things with the little tiny negatives. And just things seemed to look through the camera. I would look through the camera and see things sort of differently mm -hmm. and freeze that moment that I was seeing. Is it mostly nature that you photograph? It is. I have certainly enjoyed travel when I was in the Navy, visiting historic places and that I'd read about. But the nature I really like the best. It's different every day. I can, most of the birds that I've taken are in my yard and they come and visit and they're doing something different every day and I can be completely lost in that. Mm. Your photos are so close up. I'm trying to imagine how giant a lens you're using for these photographs. Actually, I have gotten away from using a very large lens on a digital um, SLR camera because they're so heavy. The size of the lens that I really want to get costs $10,000 or more. So I've actually found a great camera, they call a bridge camera, that has a long zoom. I can still adjust a lot of my settings, but I don't have to carry around a lens that weighs eight or 10 pounds. Okay. Well, um, this piece right here must have been exciting to, uh, to photograph. Can you tell us more about that trip? This trip was to Churchill, Canada, and the I stayed on the tundra, as they call it, the polar bears would come to us. Wow. The first day, I think we must have seen eight polar bears, and they're waiting for the ice to freeze, which you can see in the background, it's starting to on the Hudson Bay. They're waiting for it to freeze. They go out and do their winter hunting, looking for seals. They're bored. It's not mating season. They're not fighting over food yet. So they spar and play fight. So these guys were doing their manly thing, standing up and who's bigger, but they don't take it to the point where they hurt each other since they're not competing right. for food or the females. Okay. And I love your title. That reminds me of uh, Captain Kangaroo. Is that <laughs> I remember Captain Kangaroo. The dancing Bear. <laughs> um, so um, what other types of places have you been to? Oh, well, I was, when I was in the Navy, I was stationed in Europe in three different places. I was stationed in Sicily, southern England, and southern Spain. For nature photography, um, Alaska, I've recently, our North Carolina Zoo, I've been, we had our four cubs, the baby cubs, that were born in July of 2014, and I've been following them, so I've gone three times to see how they've grown and changed. Okay. Um, the recently went to the Greensboro Science Center. They have, it's a small zoo type area, but the animals are up close. You really get to see them and, and feel like you're almost there with them. I'm going to be going to see grizzly bears in Alaska in July. And in one other trip that I'm hoping to go on is to see gray whales in Baja, Mexico. The gray whales, that's where they have their babies in January, February, and the gray whales like people. They're very gentle, they come up to the boats. So that's another one that I'm looking forward to. Have you won some awards for your photography? You can tell us I that. have, I've um, won an award from, in England, there was, um, a contest where I submitted six photographs of Cornwall, the county that I lived in, and won a monetary prize and other prize to uh, at that contest. The dancing bears here, the News and Observer printed in the Near Your Best Shot um, that I submitted, and the um, the Sisterly Secrets, the two sister polar bears. Recently, the University of North Carolina um, Medical Center 
pick that to be enlarged and hung in the hospital. Wow. Is the, um, I noticed you do the canvas wrap for your photography. Is that primarily what you do, or do you also sell regular prints? Um, I've been doing the canvas wrap mostly because it's pretty easy, and you don't have to worry about what frame might go with or not go with someone's um, their decoration. It seems e it's and it's easier to do that to do the canvas wrap. Um, I think that they they kind of stand out the picture by itself mm -hmm. without the frame right. masking it. Uh, so where could people um, see more of your work? Uh, do you have a website? I don't. I keep getting asked that, so I'm thinking I may have to get one. <laughs> Uh, I've done the Harvest Festival set up for I that, um, there. and recently the cedar productions at the brewery. Well, we thank you for being here with us this month. It's a great show. Thank we're you. I'm really ex it. just thrilled to have been selected. Thank you. I hope you'll join us next month for our January show here at the Clayton Center. Um, the date will be January the 7th, and the Woman's Club of Clayton will be hosting a show featuring artwork from area middle schools and high school students. Hope to see you there.